Welcome everyone to my annual update. We are going to talk about what has happened to Creek Fishing Adventures during the 2022 year. We're going to talk money, sponsorships, goals for the next year or this year right here, 2023. Uh, things that have happened, things that are coming up. Uh, kind of a lot of different things. I'll try to stay in order as we get going, but man, this is uh, starting off to a good year in 2023. Today is March the 4th and um, I'm glad to give another yearly update of being able to do this. This today is three and a half years of being full-time YouTube where my main income and almost all my income has come from YouTube and then also some sponsors and some people along the way that have, that have uh, helped me and you know paid me money to advertise things. Also a lot of free stuff. And uh, we'll talk about some of that stuff that happened and... Um, uh, that I got and that's going to be affecting this year uh, coming up. So three and a half years in, I kind of feel like I'm set in and in my ways and doing a lot of things, although I still want to be creative and have fun and enjoy what I'm doing. You can see here, I got this new uh, studio room. I didn't have that last year. That is something I put together uh, in my spare bedroom uh, this summer. So it's something new. I've never done an update sitting here. Um, in my house, I always try to go somewhere quiet and now I have a nice place where I got a nice microphone camera set up and everything good background Hopefully this uh, audio and everything's working. So let's get right into it first We're gonna talk a recap then we're gonna go income Sponsorships and then goals. Let's recap 2022 22 started out. I had about a hundred. I don't remember exactly I had in January I hit 110,000 subscribers in January 22. So 2022 was the slowest slowest year of growth since like um, since like my third year. So uh, for the last two years, we're definitely I had more growth as in subscribers, but I did earn more income uh, in 2022 than I did before. We'll talk about that in a minute. But as far as growth, it was a little bit slower. Views were steady. I feel like that's because I feel like I'm kind of you know, a lot of people have already found me. People that are going to subscribe have subscribed. Can I grow more? Yes, I hope to grow more. But I think a lot of y'all that are watching or people I've been watching kind of came and you're here for the long haul. And I've had some really steady views, which has really helped me um, just be able to keep doing what I'm doing. Broke some PBs, uh, biggest largemouth bass. I caught it uh, last March. Uh, I broke my PB spotted, Alabama spotted bass twice. I got two or five pounds. Um, did a lot of traveling, um, went to, you know, went to Florida, went to Michigan, got to fish with fish anything. I had bought a boat last January and used it twice and then sold it. So I had a boat and sold it. Ended up got, getting another, uh, little boat and I've used it a couple times and I plan to, I'm actually going to try to use it next week, but I have, and then I got another aluminum boat that we found in a river. Um, that may have been earlier this year. Now that was, I think that was already this year. Uh, but I, I haven't done anything with it yet. Won a couple kayak tournaments. Uh, actually made some money in like kayak fishing and I qualified myself for a big national tournament coming up here in March. Um, we'll probably discuss that in a minute, but because kayaking is something I really got into. Coached basketball again. We just ended that. So that was two years in a row of um, heading up the basketball program at a uh, school down the road. It's the school uh, that it's associated with the church that I go to. Another uh, tough year to grind out. It's um, it's kind of hard when you just don't have a lot of kids to choose from. Very small school. If you've been to, a, if you ever went to a really small school, or you kind of know how that is, it's it's hard. You can't you can't coach much when um, you know you only have a certain amount of players. But I enjoy doing that again, and uh, I do get paid a little bit off that, but it's it's basically a voluntary uh, thing, which doesn't take up a lot of time, and it's close to my house, so that helps out. But I had fun. I'm glad it's over now that I can kind of focus on fishing again, and, and it gives me a break during the winter, so it is something that I do enjoy doing. Uh, it takes away time from me focusing so much on trying to you know fish. It gives me something else to think about while I'm fishing, and then when it's over, it's like, all right, now it's back to fishing hardcore. Also, we are at 129,000 subscribers and we are still growing and it's starting to grow a little bit faster now that it's getting spring. Well, it just hit in March, so I think we're starting to pick up. Had a really slow winter. The whole winter was very slow for me, um, but, it's, but it was steady, so that, that was good. 
Uh, we're over, I'm at 804 videos now. So I put out, that's a lot of videos to make. And I plan to keep making more and um, get back into the creeks now that it's warmed up. But let's get into um, income. So let's go just real quick. Income from 2022. And then uh, then we'll get into sponsorships, which kind of goes with the income. But I, I'll, sh I'll tell you what I made from YouTube ad revenue. And that was $82,000. $82,000 from YouTube, just from ad revenue, which is, is pretty awesome. That's a lot of money. Um, if you're asking me like what I did with all of it, you saw it. You, said, you If you watched my videos, you saw what I did with all my money. It was going and going on trips, going a uh, new place I've never been before. Maybe buying uh, gear or uh, rod and reels or uh, just fishing things. Anything fishing related I got to do. Now, obviously, um, I don't talk about this a lot, but I, I give to my church. Um, I tithe. I give to the missions. I I work in children's church. I spend a lot of money on just kids and um, the basketball. You know, doing trip basketball trips and stuff. So, um, I I do I try to help out and do a lot of different things. Um, but a lot I do. You know, a church gets a lot of money, which you might be surprising how much they get. Whenever I look at my year in review, I'm like, wow. But, you know, I, I believe that's the right thing to do. And I believe the Lord has blessed me for that because I'm obeying and, you know, doing what he wants. Um, and, he, and like I said, I'm doing this again. Uh, three and a half years of doing this, which could go away tomorrow. Like, I'm not taking YouTube for granted. I know that the Lord has blessed me and given me this opportunity. And I'm trying to do the right thing with it. I don't know if it's going to, if I'm going to become a millionaire off of it. Or if I'm going to dwindle down and go broke off of it. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but um, I know that this is right here is what I'm doing. And I'm having fun with it. And I'm getting to live a good life. So I'm enjoying what I'm doing. I'm trying to be smarter this next year with my income. I'm going to try to do some budgeting a little bit differently. And plus, you know, hopefully I can make it, like, increase it some more. So we'll just have to see how it goes. Next year we'll, when the recap comes around, we'll see where I'm at. Let's go sponsorships. And I'm not going to share uh, finances off like how much... Companies are paying me that that wouldn't be right, and I'm not supposed to talk about some of that stuff. So, but my I'll just I'll I'll go through who I am getting money from and um, LureNet, Pradco. Um, they came out LureNet here. They came out with the bait school bag. Um, I talk about I use a lot of their stuff and a lot of their they have a lot of different brands of lures that they have, and that's my biggest um, promoter, I guess, or sponsorship. Where they, I get paid from them and I get free gear. Um, so it allows me, you know, to do a lot with a lot of free tackle. And also, it, I got s um, stable income coming in off of that. Also, I'm working, got Nico. Uh, I've been, you know, the Nico products, I get a, a I get paid by using, uh, if anybody uses a affiliate discount code. So that thing's, that's still going on with them. I started a new one with discount tackle. And at the same way, I'm getting paid through a, an affiliate discount. If you know, if I recommend someone buying a rod or reel or a lure, and they use, they go through that that link that I use and buy stuff, then I make money. So that's just an extra way. Those are kind of uh, all like those are all passive stuff. It's just stuff that I'm gonna normally do. Maybe put some extra links in, or maybe mention it, or mention a discount code, or mention you know extra lure. Or where they can like give you give you more specifics on where you can find these things, and um, it's up to you whether you, you buy stuff or not. But that's just a little extra thing that get a little extra income coming in. Uh, hope to grow some of that. Some of the stuff I got for free this year, um, I probably got more than I'm gonna mention. But Frontier Outdoors in Kingston, Tennessee, uh, gave me the Crescent Sholey. And I, I was really excited. That's something I'm, I'm really excited about using. So I gave me a kayak. I got some uh, paddle with it and uh, some kayak gear with that. Big thanks to them. Uh, I hopefully I promoted them well. And uh, if you're if you're looking for kayaks or stuff in that area, Kingston, Knoxville area, they got a great showroom. So uh, not not sure if we're gonna do more this year. Maybe do we'll do something else. Maybe not. I got a, a electric motor for my pond raider from E Propulsion. And that was a pretty expensive little motor uh, that, that I still got to do some more videos to fulfill my contract with them. But I, that was something that's, you know, you know, a few thousand dollars that was sent to me to use um, and make videos on and do stuff with. And I still got some more stuff. I don't use that boat a ton, but I, I got some stuff I'm going to try to plan coming up. I think I got a couple electric bikes and I got another company wanting to send me one. I'm not sure how, how I'm going to do that. 
I did get, I've gotten lures. I've got a lot of people sent me, you know, uh, a packet of lures or, um, or a rod. And re- I got a couple rod and reel companies that just sent me some rod and reels. Um, that's more for next year, but TFO and, um, sent me some rods and then Fenwick and Abu Garcia sent me some rods and some reels. And that's stuff that I'll probably talk about next year. Cause I just got it in uh, February. And if you're seeing some of these videos, you'll see me use some of them. And that's about all the uh, sponsorships that I can think of right now that are like, you know, that, that really are affecting my channel. Um, if I'm forgetting something, I'll try to put it in there. And if I forget somebody, I, I, I sorry, but I hopefully I, I, I did well in the videos or whatever that came out. Uh, so I still don't have a rod and reel company that I'm dedicated to working with. And that's okay. I, I've been buying a lot. I'm going to try to back off. I've, I've got everything I need. I don't really need to buy any more rod and reels or, you know, not really, but, um, I just like messing and trying different things. So some, I've got some stuff for free that I should be good. And I'm probably going to try to sell some of my old ones. I've given a ton of stuff away, but I would like to try to recap a little bit of my money in some of the rods and reels that I've bought that, I either I'm like don't use or you know still good quality. I'll send it some send it on down the road. So 2022 was an interesting year. Did a lot of really fun stuff and kind of set me up. I really got into that kayaking and it kind of set me up for this year. So let's go into let's go ahead and go into goals and things that are upcoming for 2023. What can you expect and what do I expect? You know I expect. I expect the subscriber rate will still will kind of even out and probably not grow as substantially like a higher percentage. Um, you know, hopefully by the I would love to hit 150, 160,000 by the end of this year. The way it's growing, I should be around there. It might not be, but that's fine. Um, I'm hoping the views stay stable. I'd uh, love to earn. If I I've increased my earnings uh, from the YouTube revenue every year. My year, my goal this year is to increase my earnings outside rev, outside um, YouTube, where it's more stable income and different things. And there's a couple of things I've been talking to, and and I, there's a lot of things coming up that I've been meeting with people and talking with companies. And some stuff is going to be getting free stuff. Some stuff they're going to pay. Um, I'm excited about some of the things I'm I'm going to get to work with. Uh, we'll just have to see how it works out. Uh, so that's going to be that's going to be interesting. I think a lot of things are going to change as far as things that I'm going to get to do. I've got some really cool trips coming up that I'm getting to go fish with some uh, YouTubers and uh, I'd say just other people that fish, just fishermen, where some of the stuff's going to get paid for, where I won't be so expensive. I'm going to be going to Wisconsin. Got a trip planned to there. Got a trip planned to Virginia. Um, Definitely Florida. And probably other places. I mean, Alabama, Georgia, North Carolina, Kentucky, all the states around me, I definitely will be fishing fishing on those. And that's things where I just try to do trips here and there. And sometimes they work out and it, I go to places and it works out and I have these awesome videos. Sometimes I go to the states or I go somewhere and do this trip and, and it just doesn't turn into an interesting video. And I know a lot of people would like to know what's going on, but sometimes if it's just not an exciting video, it's just not interesting, it's, it's hard to show it. It just doesn't, doesn't work out on YouTube. So. Uh, most of the time, I can I'm able to show something from a, a big trip. In three weeks, I have the biggest kayak tournament I've ever been been able to be a part of. I qualified for the um, Bass Nation Nationals, so I actually qualified last year, and I didn't even know what it was. I turned it down. I said no, I, I don't want to go. I didn't even know what it was. I've learned I didn't know anything about kayak tournaments. So this year, I was like, yes, I got to qualify again. Amazingly, had a really good tournament where I was able to qualify for this, for this one. And this one is here at Chickamauga, Lake Chickamauga in three weeks. So this is, you know, 30, 40 minutes away. Um, I don't know what area I'm going to fish. It's a big lake. There's going to be a lot of guys from all over the country. Uh, a lot of guys that fish this lake a lot. So I, I have no expectations of doing very well, but this is the biggest, it's the biggest kayak term I've ever been a part of. Um, the payout will probably be big as any have ever been around. Um, it's going to be a lot of money, I bet, because it's expensive just to do this tournament. Plus, they got sponsors and stuff. So this is going to be a this is a big this is a national tournament, and I'll be it'll be fun just to meet a lot of people. I'd, I if I can just catch fish, I, I'll I'll be happy catching fish. But it's something I'm very excited about, and I plan to do more. I can't I plan to keep doing these kayak tournaments. Try maybe once a month. 
every, sometimes um, twice a month. And I'll just do the best I can do with them and have fun with those. But now that it's spring, I am really excited about the creeks that are coming back to life. And my channel is called Creek Fishing Adventures. And I know I do a lot of kayak fishing, lake fishing, big river fishing, but I can't do a lot of creek stuff because the because there's no creek, there's no fish active. But it is now active, and unless it floods like it did yesterday, we had a tornado warning, and the creeks are like six foot out of the banks and muddy. So. So I, it's like, well, I got to wait a few days to get to the creek. So, but there will be a lot of creek action, panfish and little bass, hopefully some smallmouth, shoal bass, you know, just all kinds of stuff in creeks and moving waters like that. Still working on my Facebook. I tried to grow it starting last year and I, I'm not, I'm not monetized on it. I'm, I haven't been dedicated like hardcore. I've been uploading some videos, but I'm kind of, I get slack when I'm busy. I don't I don't upload the videos, so I'm trying to keep up with that to kind of build that and maybe one day make some money off Facebook. One really big thing that's totally different this year that I've never done before and it's actually this is the first year that this this tournament, this kayak thing has ever been done for. Uh y'all a lot of y'all know Chad Hoover um from kayak bass fishing and kbf and he has started a um online tournament and i'm a part of that and it's going to be the knucklehead tournament and this is a tournament that's an online that you can subscribe or you can join this is for you and it's for me so i'm going to get to be a part of this you can be a part of it if you win a monthly or an online monthly tournament you can join somebody's team and i will do a whole video on this but if you're interested at all go look up the uh, kbf app and uh, look up the knuckleheads bass fishing tournament it's kind of spelt a little funny but you can just probably search chad hoover knuckleheads tournament and it's an online tournament where you sign up you can sign up on my team and it's 15 dollars. and if you win you get to be a part of my team there's going to be four months of it for me april may june and july if you win one of those months you get to be on my team and we go fish in the fall down on Lake Gunnersville. So this is something I'm excited about. I've never, I just talked to um, Chad Hoover recently and you know, first time meeting him, he's a, you know, a big guy in the kayak world, you know, so it's, it's cool for me to meet somebody like that. And I, I I'm going to go get the fish with him. Uh, also there's going to be some, there's going to be a, some pretty cool people and a lot of guys that I look up to as far as like YouTubers and fishing people that I'm like, I get to go fish with that guy. It's just the biggest deal for me. And if you win uh, one of the spots, you get to be on my team or you can join the other teams. You can try to win a spot on uh, one of the other guys' teams and fish with them. But that's a big thing. I am gonna, I will be able to earn some money off that. Part of the proceeds are gonna go to me. Part of the proceeds I'm going to use, gonna donate to a charity. I haven't picked out the charity just yet, but I got some, I've been talking to some people, I got some ideas. But that's a, that's going to be a beneficial thing for me and hopefully a fun thing for you to be a part of. Even if you don't win and you submit five fish, there's going to be things that you can be in, involved in. There may be some giveaways. It's a good way just to get into kayak tournament. You can do it wherever you live in the U.S., I believe. If you win and you need help getting to Gunnersville, you know, we'll, we'll work something out. But hopefully that, that would be a time that you can um, make it. But even you can sign up for all four months. You can sign up for one month. You can sign up on other guys. So I'll talk about more of that. I'm excited about that. That's a that's a big deal. That's going to be on my channel. And that it's something that could be something that does annually. Uh, we'll see how it goes this year. And I never I never try to plan too far ahead because I always want to see how things go. I never know how they're going to go. Maybe, maybe it goes awesome. Maybe it's like I don't want to be a part of that. Maybe I have something come up next year that I can't do it. So everything, every company that I work with or everything that I got planned is always like we'll, we'll see how this works and how it works moving forward. So I'm, I've been excited about this upcoming year. Um, like I said, this is three and a half years in. I, I get ups and downs. I've been, I've had some, some weeks or days that I'm burnt out a little bit. And then I've been doing some fishing here recently that I've been super excited about, even if it doesn't work out. I had a couple of days recently where I've, I kayaked two days in a row and they were both were just terrible fishing days. Very long and slow. To, and I'm like, do I even know how to catch a fish? And then I'll turn around and do something and I'll just like catch all kinds of fish. So that that's fishing for you. And people, especially me, I got to create content. I got to, I can't, I, it's, I do got to go fishing, but I have to make it, I have to, something has to happen. 
so I can put out a video. So it's easy to get up and down, but I am staying with it. Hopefully this go another year goes really well. I have some goals that I can't talk about that I would hopefully can talk about next year or maybe later this year. So I, I appreciate there's a lot of people that have been following me consistently, like very consistently for a long time and years. And maybe you don't watch every video, but you, you watch a lot of them and you're on here. That, that means a lot because that means I can keep doing what I'm doing. The only reason I get to keep doing this is because people keep watching and I get to earn money from your views. And if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing. So it also, if I'm talking about sponsorships or I've tried to promote something or show something, I know, a lot of people already know this. I'm just, some people, you know, might not understand. If I don't do that, I can't keep doing what I'm doing. I, that's that I have to have money to live. I have to have money to make videos. There's a lot of expenses that goes into making YouTube videos and it's not, and a lot of time and effort. So I appreciate people that you know, understand that and that support me. And, um, and if you don't, that's fine. If you just watch a video, that's fine. If you don't watch any videos, it's the only one you ever watched. I appreciate that. So that's about it. I think that's probably going to end it out. It's going to be an exciting year. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to do this next update in 2024. Um, no telling what's going to happen by then. So I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.